Hello, my name is Joni Evans, and I'm a daily money manager with Creating Financial Order in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Today, I'm here to talk to you about managing your money during uncertain times. The quickly changing guidelines and reports about how we should deal with the coronavirus pandemic are enough to make even the calmest of us a little bit uneasy. Uh, during my career, I've weathered the tech bubble, 9-11, the recession of 2008, and more. This is different because of the drastic shutdowns we're experiencing just to contain the spread of the virus. We're seeing new fears about our economy and about our personal finances. I'm going to share some ideas with you about managing your money during these uncertain times. First, the first thing I recommend is to take a current financial inventory. By that, I mean write down everything you own, including your especially your emergency fund balance, uh, your checking, savings, and investment accounts, retirement funds, real estate, and any other assets you have. Next, uh, you'd need to write down what you owe, any of your loan balances like your home loan, car loan, credit cards, personal student loans, and other debt. Then, I recommend you look at your immediate needs. Um, prioritize what must be paid first and choose your most liquid funds like your checking account or emergency fund to pay those bills. If you must use credit, choose the lender with the lowest interest rate first. And do research available resources. Um, Governor Andy Bashir is loosening the Kentucky unemployment insurance rules in light of the COVID-19 pandemic. For example, they are waiving the waiting period to obtain unemployment insurance benefits. Um, they're also waiving the work search requirements. In addition to that, many credit card issuers are beginning to roll out assistance programs for cardholders who may be affected by the outbreak. Locally, Bowling Green Municipal Utilities announced it is discontinuing utility disconnections for the non, for non-payment until April 1st. Local school systems are continuing meal services even as their students continue learning at home. Now, if you're looking for something to do while you're stuck at home, I have a couple of ideas for you. First, discard paperwork you no longer need. Check out a site www.smead.com for six guidelines for records retention. It's called Keep It or Toss It. Next, organize the financial paperwork you do need to keep. And whether that would be in a file cabinet, uh, three ring binders, accordion files, or even electronic storage, choose something that works for you then that you will actually use. And try not to let fear take over. I know that's easier said than done, but in, in these kinds of times, beware of scams. Don't click on any links from sources that you don't know. Do your homework about donations. Don't let anyone rush you into making a donation, and especially if they want cash, gift card, or wiring the money, don't do it. Um, be alert to investment opportunities that sound great. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission is warning consumers about online promotions, even from publicly traded companies. These could be on social media. For example, they're, they're claiming that they have a cure or some type of treatment that would work on coronavirus and that if you buy stock in these companies, that your, your stock value would go up. If you're still worried about your investments, which a lot of us definitely are paying attention to the, the wild swings in our investment accounts, talk to your personal investment advisor. Tell them what's keeping you up at night. Be specific and revisit your short-term needs. Maybe your life has dramatically changed because of this pandemic and you need to make some big changes in your investments. Review your long-term goals and then make some changes if they are necessary. If you have additional questions, feel free to contact me through my website and that's creatingfinancialorder.com. Thank you.